For our community music project, we have been working at the Orb Community Arts Centre in Knaresborough, working with clients with severe and ongoing mental health issues. This documentary explains some of the work Orb does in the community and looks at how we have been involved in this over the last few months. Founders and managers Mark and Leon gave us more information about Orb. Hi, uh, my name's Leon. I'm the uh, volunteering project coordinator. Um, one of my key roles is making sure that we get enough um, volunteers coming into Orb to be able, able to help us to run our music studio and our other facilities. Um, we're a small charity, so we are incredibly reliant upon the, the, the goodwill and generosity of volunteers to come in and, and help us achieve what we do. And I'm Mark Flood, I'm the manager of Orb and I suppose founder of it, I sort of set the thing up in the first place. Um, I mean Orb's broadly, I mean it, it was set up to be a, um, a mental health focused project but we, we can support any vulnerable individual who works in, who works, who lives in Yorkshire. Um, so uh, although a lot of the people we see have got severe and enduring mental health problems we do also support a number of people with um, a learning disability um, and other um, disabilities and, and Autistic vulnerabilities. Autistic spectrum disorders, yeah. Yeah. Uh, people who've had drug and alcohol, substance abuse issues, homeless people, um, elderly people with a skills deficit. So it really is quite a wide range of, of vulnerable yeah. groups. Yeah. One of the clients that we've spent some time working with is a keen musician who without Orb would not have the opportunity to perform or collaborate with other musicians. Over a number of weeks we have worked with him to compose and produce songs for his album he is working towards. Yeah, we'll kind of try and work together as a team so like when we've been working with clients we'll come in, we'll, we'll kind of set up the studio, we'll all play certain instruments, like work to our strengths and just set up to record and take it from there really. Whilst our work with some of the clients has been very productive, on a number of occasions, if a client has had a tough week, we've made sure that our time at Orb has been of use to the organisation, working with other volunteers to produce material for future sessions or teaching them more about using the studio facilities. It's in this respect that music technology has made music more accessible as a number of Orb's volunteers don't have a large background in music. It's absolutely crucial that we do have volunteers because, I mean, for every single person who comes in, there's a different need and a different interest, and the more volunteers that you have, the wider a pool of skills and, and, and possibilities there are. Um, which is one of the sort of positive things about Orb is it's not sort of, we offer this, um, like it or lump it, it's people will come in and we'll try and find people or volunteers to suit the you know, client's needs. Josh is the only paid volunteer working at Orb and tells us about his position at the Arts Centre. At the moment it is, as Leon said the other day, to act as kind of like um, a ringmaster to people who come here. It's both working with each other to ensure as, as much positive outcome as we can for the community centre. He also admits that it's not just the clients that come here to learn something new. Leaving the various volunteers to take on their own projects means there is more variation from project to project and different skills can be applied and shared. What we think is um, if volunteers do come here it's good to obviously give them as much practical experience hands on as they can so as to learn from that. Do you find that you learn a lot when other people come here with different skills? Yeah, without a doubt, yeah. yeah. I try to. Over the last few months we have worked with several clients to produce music in a mixture of genres. Whilst writing and producing clean recordings has been somewhat of a challenge, the work has been rewarding and the benefits to both the clients and volunteers alike have been substantial.
To produce these tracks, we've worked with the clients over a number of sessions. To avoid creating a pressured environment, we do not generally follow a set routine, allowing the clients to lead the session and create an environment they are comfortable in. In some sessions, however, we have taken a client's idea and enthusiasm and helped them turn it into a well-produced piece. Through working with the clients, we have seen an improvement in confidence and a genuine desire to return the following week. I think one of the crucial <coughs> things that, when Mark set the project up, was the idea that you know you've got these people who are excluded. You know, a lot of these people who we support maybe haven't you know left their bedroom for months. You know, and just the idea of getting them out and, and back into any semblance of, of, of contact with society is a major issue. If you can sort of offer them something which is genuinely interesting that they want to get out of bed or, or leave home for, then you, you, you're starting on that path. So, you know, if you've got a young person, they might be 19, they might be 20, they might be, you know, very depressed, very excluded from society, suddenly they have the opportunity to access this really creative, interesting musical equipment, then, you know, that, that is the start on the, hopefully, on their path to recovery. Some people come here um, wanting to produce music and want like they might really want a high quality sounding piece of music mm. whereas other people it's just more sort of coming in having a jam and like that connection with other people and yeah. the yeah. kind of a, an artistic release. It's a real session German. I just um I've I've gone considered going to leave music college near the bus station in Leeds. Um, I think follow through with it. I think that's been quite an important part of what we do really is, is that enabling the people who come in to be engaged in their local community in a in a sort of you know skilled way. If you know. well, and one of the key things is the fact that you know we're giving the opportunity for vulnerable excluded people to come and do creative things whether that be musical or artistic but not only do that for themselves but then take that out and you know show to the, the wider public that you know they are talented individuals help them build their confidence and do something positive in the community and you know whether that's highlighting their own talents or helping out in community events and, and you know helping society in a wider sense. So. With the new facilities appearing at Orb, there will be more opportunities for people within the community to practice their skills, work with new faces and create something to be proud of. You can find out more about what's happening at Orb online by visiting www.orb-arts.co.uk.